can't hear you, mate. You've got to speak up. You're whispering. Saturday night. You heard us at Saturday night. Why are you getting be a professional? Relax. Relax yourself. Let's see there for the arena. It's a Bellator fight week and we are here in one of the most iconic sports venues in the whole of the UK. Wembley Stadium, home of the England soccer team. On Saturday night, live at the SSE Arena, two men who absolutely fucking hate each other will go head to head in the biggest middleweight grudge match we have ever seen in this country. Mike Shipman and Fabian Edwards. Let's go and meet them. Well, here they are, Mike Shipman and Fabian Edwards. Gentlemen, I have to relay this message to you, and it comes directly from Scott Coker, president of Bellator, and from David Green, head of Bellator Europe, that you must not lay hands on each other, you must not touch each other during this process. Otherwise, the fight is off on Saturday night. Are we clear? I'm clear. Yeah, yeah, got it. Okay, let's go and talk. So we're looking at one of the biggest, or if not the biggest, grudge fight in mixed martial arts in the history of this country. Gents, first of all, you, Mike. Um, your background is from rugby. You got into this as a rugby player. Well, yeah, I guess you could say that, but I've just always been interested in physical sports and combat sports, and it's always something I've been into. I did a bit of judo and boxing as a kid, but rugby was kind of my outlet for that, um, that competitive nature. And this guy on my right, you really don't like him, no? I'm not a fan, no, I don't particularly like him. Um, yeah, it's just been a lot of talk over the past couple of years and he's, uh, he's not made me a, a fan of his. Fabian, you didn't grow up as a rugby player. You come from a completely different background. You've, yeah. The sport has changed you and changed your life, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. I came up off the streets, you know what I mean? So fighting for me is normal. So when I'm fighting in front, front of 10,000, 12,000 people, it doesn't bother me because I'm having fights from young, so yeah, that's how I, I came up. You're not happy with this guy? No, I, don't, I just don't like the kid. I don't like him one bit, you know what I mean? I can't wait until Saturday to get my hands on him. You know, I'm going to enjoy it. You know, like, all my fights have been pretty nice, you know what I mean? And look what I've done to them, so with this one, I'm going to enjoy it. I am going to, I'm going to enjoy it, man. What do you feel right now being in front of each other? How do you feel that you're just a few feet away and you're just a few hours away from your fight? It's exciting. It's, uh, it's making it real. It's, uh, it's letting me look at him, be close, and it's uh, giving me a little taste of what's going to happen. How's it for you, Fabian? I'm excited. Since this fight's been, been announced, I've been excited for it. You know what I mean? Um, everyone, whenever someone asks me a question about it, all I say is I'm excited. So I can't wait to go out there and put hands on him. You know what I mean, no more talking, just put hands on him. Is this a real grudge for you? A, a real, real grudge where you genuinely, like you say, you want to hurt another man? I want to hurt him. I want to hurt him. I'm not, it's not playing, I'm not trying to script nothing. I want to hurt him. On a Saturday night, I finally get my chance to do it. Mike? I want to humble him. I want to adjust his attitude. And I want to have him think about me for a long time after this. I definitely won't. I think about how I knocked you out. I OK. Think about that. There's a serious grudge between you both. We're going to go back to the beginning. Let's go in the arena and talk about how this all began. Come on, gents. Whose idea is this? Whose idea is this? Whose idea is this? We walk together. <laughs> So, gentlemen, here we are now in the SSE Arena. Mike Shipman, Fabian Edwards. How does it feel, Mike, to be in here? Yeah, it feels a little cold, but nice. It's uh, feels good getting for me. excited. Feels good for me. I mean, I've got good memories here. So, looking around, I can just, I can imagine after the knockout, it's going to be, it's going to go, everyone's going to go nuts in there. He's going to so, go nuts after the knockout. You're I can't right. wait. I can't wait. So, you're going to knock him out, yeah? Yes, yeah, the plan. You're going to knock him out. I'm going to do whatever I choose to do with him. Yeah, what do you I'm choose in. to do? He's asking you what you I'm choose. I'm going to choose whatever, whatever I want, whatever not. It's going to stop. I, I've already said mind since this fight, since this fight's been announced, I've already said it's going to be a second round. It's going to be a second round, round second stoppage. Round what? Don't don't worry. You see on Saturday, it's going to be a stoppage. Okay. I think it's going to be a first round stoppage. To be honest. <laughs> For me. No man, don't be silly. For me. Don't be silly, mate. We'll see. Let's just go back, gents, to how it all began 
between you. There's, there is a distinctive and definite grudge. You called on him to have a fight behind closed doors. Can you explain the background to that? Yeah, the background is I knocked out his mate. I guess he didn't like it. I didn't really know who it was at the time, but he started running his mouth a lot. I got signed to Bellator. He was in that other promotion, so that couldn't happen at the time. Also, he was 3-0, so it didn't particularly interest me. So I said to him, if you want to sort out a personal issue, we can sort out a personal issue. And he said, it's not personal, he's not interested in that, it's business. And I said, OK, fair enough. And he carried on running his mouth. And now we are where we are, about two years later, and I finally get to put some hands on him. <laughs> that ain't going to happen. That's not going to happen. That's not going to happen. But you were even prepared to have a fight behind closed doors in, in the gym to sort it out? Yeah, because I didn't, I, I didn't see what he was getting out of it. I understand talking. I, I get talking. I get what he's doing now. He's talking. I, I understand no, it. Talking. I'm, I'm, I'm not talking. I'm talking now. Talking. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. I talking. get what he's doing now. But when there's no possibility of a fight happening, I don't understand the point of it. I get it when there's a possibility of a fight. There was a the possibility we're, we're both I'm still signed. Talking. We're both signed to Bama. So the, that, that was a possibility? I was signed to Bellator. No, no, no. We were both signed to Bama when you beat Yannick. Yeah, yeah, that's you true. Was? And so, then where so, did I go after that? Where was my next fight? Yeah, but there you go then. So you can't say that when he went to Bellator, I was saying blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, you know no. I mean? You were talking when we were in Bama, and I so, understood so that. Come, yeah? I understood that. So but what, you, what how you carried then? on talking when I went why to Bellator. Why didn't that happen then? That's all I'm... I signed to Bellator. That's why. But you're still, you're still with Bama when I was? My next fight, where was my next fight? But before you went, before fight? you signed, you were still with Bama. Where was my next fight? Also, you were signed, you were still... I didn't even know who you were. I didn't okay. know who you were until you started running your mouth. Oh. Now you've got my attention. Congratulations. Okay then. So, so you think it's going to be test testing? I hope so. To shut you I, up. I, I hope so. I hope so. I, I want to see the testing. You're running these. Uh, I want to see. I want to see the testing. I know. You what know. you're doing is you're putting an excuse in before you even fight. What excuse? Oh, he was on juice. That's why he smashed no, no, my head in. No, 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 Are you no, putting no, no, excuses? No, no, no. You're giving yourself my, my a reason to fail. To I just said to me, let's try getting test before the fight. I said, fuck that. Let's not get him test before the test fight. We need, to, we need to test him after. After test I smashed him, then test him. So I, I don't want no reason. I don't want, I don't want no reason for you to pull out. So I don't want no reason me, for this fight to go. What you're telling me is you don't believe it's physically possible for someone to be as strong and as, as ripped as me. How so, so As ripped as me naturally. So you're ripped, do you think that, that makes you strong? No, I think because I'm strong, it makes me strong. Okay, then. You're going to feel that. Okay, I can't wait to feel it. I can't wait to feel it. You, you don't believe that? It's going to be a shock when you feel me. What, what, think, other, oh, what other evidence I mean, have you got? What, other, what evidence have okay you got? Then, okay then. Anyway, when the tests happen, the better tests are going to happen. When they happen, publicly, everyone will know in it. Yeah, everyone will know that I'm clean, mate. Okay. Okay. What do you see in his performances that make you sure that you're going to knock him out in the first round on Saturday night? In the first round, I'm not sure it's first round, first round, second round, it doesn't matter, but it's going to happen. What I see in his performances is, is, it's what I don't see. It's not what I see, it's what I don't see in his performances. I don't see someone who's physical enough or dangerous enough or generally skilled enough to live with me. Listen, I fought a guy that he ran from, Chadwick. I went in there and played with him. I played Who with Chadwick. Who pulled out that fight? I was going to fight Chadwick. He yeah, got you injured. Pull out. I'm sure he, he pulled out. No, he got that the way around. He got injured. You pulled out. You know what I mean? But I went ask in there him, and I fought a, a former UK champion. Everyone thought he was going to deal with me. Ask I went him, in there and I handed out with ease. You know what I mean? He was so parry about, about him being stronger than me. He made sure he missed weight. You know what I mean? He came in overweight and he still got toyed with. So all this strength issue and uh, all of that, that doesn't bother me. I didn't come into this sport to think I'm going to be the big strong man. That's not, that's not what it's about for me. It's about my IQ, about being technician. What does it mean to you on Saturday night? to beat this guy. When you look at his eyes now, what are you seeing? I'm seeing a scared guy. I'm seeing a scared nah, guy. What do you really Honestly, see? Nah, nah, look I, I can, I can tell him. he's look not confident. I can tell, him. it doesn't nah, matter. Nah, don't look at him. I know look you're not confident. I'm looking at you. You're not confident. What do you see? And what I you know really when the shots see? start connecting, when the shots start connecting, you realize, oh shit. This uh, man is trying to kill me. This man is trying to kill me. Be quiet for five seconds. Tell me what you really see. I've just told you. I've just told you. You're not confident. Have a real look. You're not confident. I know you're not confident. Have a real look. I know you're not confident. And when shots start connecting, you'll realise, you will realise. But on Saturday, for me, it doesn't really mean much. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean much, it just means I'm moving on in my career. That's all it means. I'm just moving on to achieving stuff that I want to achieve. But it, will it not give you middleweight bragging rights in Britain? It won't give me bra bragging rights, I already know. 
you know what I mean? I already know, so it won't, it won't give me bragging rights. I don't think you know what be, bragging rights means. It'd be happy it's to, it'd be happy to just curl him up. I'll just be thinking, I'm happy to put that one to bed. I'm happy to curl him up. Let's move on, let's have a drink and enjoy Christmas. That's what I'll be thinking. Do you think he's underestimating you, Mike? I don't think he is really. I think he's saying what he thinks he's meant to say, but I don't think he really is that dumb. Huh? What, what did he actually say? I didn't have a, I didn't hear. I said, I don't think you are underestimating me. I don't think you're that dumb. I think you're saying what you think you're meant to say. I'm a, so he's telling me to say these things? I'm saying what I want to say. I'm saying what I want to say. I mean, it doesn't matter who I'm fighting. I always train hard. I always get up at fucking five in the morning, two in the morning, one. I, I always Which train one, the same. Five, two or one? I always or train. You, you I, get up at one I, and I then two any, and then five? I train any times, any times. So now, what time I'm, not, I'm, morning, not, I'm, I'm not underestimating him, anyone. I go in there and I treat all fight the same. So, but do you dislike him more than any other opponent? Can we establish what time you get up in the morning? Quick? I feel like I have. I feel like I feel like I feel like I do. I feel like um, I'm just looking forward to hurting him. You know what I mean? Like as bad as it sounds, but I am feeling. I just can't wait to get my hands on him. I believe you. But I'm it's happy not going to go like that. Okay. Okay. I'll, three days. We will get to see. Wait, what? No, no, relax. What are you gonna do? No, what the fuck are you gonna do? I just felt a bit of movement. Like, what the fuck are you gonna do? Don't try pipe up. I can do anything. You, mate. Don't try pipe. I can do nothing. I'm gonna do about, something. About about. I mean, don't you don't do nothing, do guys. You don't need to. You don't need to jump to. His, you don't need to do anything. I'm not gonna do anything. I know not you're today. not. I know you're not. Not even on Saturday. You're not gonna do anything either. Are you shaking your head too. I'm just shaking my head. Who's shaking what it are you to? gonna do? What? I can do what I Who's fucking want to do. I know you I can, can. do I'm what I want to do. I'm asking. On Saturday, you. I'm gonna do what I want to do against you. Yeah, what's that? You'll see on Saturday. Yeah, You'll I made your mind Saturday. up yet. You see on Saturday. We're gonna get a handshake on Saturday night after the fight. Oh, no, 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 no. We're gonna get a handshake now. Oh, no, no, babe, babe. <laughs> won't be no handshake, won't be no hugs, there won't be. It'll just be psh, gone. See you later, mate. That's what it be. See you later. I'm gone. He's right. He's right. Be. Mike Shipman, Fabian Edwards, we cannot wait to see you two fight on Saturday night here at the SSE Arena. It's going to be one big middleweight battle. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Fabian. Thank you, Thank Mike. You, Thank you very much. <clears throat>